Hello, everybody. Welcome to the LGBTQ Plus podcast. This is I, Trendalask, and my wonderful co host, DeSoto Leo Hart. Yes. And today we are starting our podcast. This is the first episode of a, and who knows how long of a podcast series it'll be. Um, but, uh, I hope you enjoy it, every bit of it. I mean, I built this lovely, lovely uh, cover art for you, you know, rated G for gay, and, you know, it's only for you guys, the people, and you're here with us, featuring you, the people. I mean, come on now. (laughs) But anyways, from that, we will move on into actually what we are going to talk about today, the introduction of everything. So, the podcast is about the community of the LGBTQ, LGBTQ, <laughs> I forgot the B, plus, that way we include everyone there. Uh, the, we talk about their stories, their experiences, what it's like to live as part of this community, and... So we'll start right now at, with the hosts. Uh, we'll start with Trunda and I. We'll talk about our stories, the impact that it has on our lives, and what makes us as people. Uh, um, I know for myself, I identify as uh, my gender is a gender fluid. Um, it's I don't know how to say it in a way how to explain it because it's very interesting. I change gender daily. It depends on how I feel. Like someday I'll wake up and I'll be like, I feel a little bit masculine too. I feel a little feminine. And sometimes I don't feel both. And so it's 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 pretty much you're just fighting to dysphoria. It's so, confusing. <laughs> so explaining this sort of like science, it's kind of like a Newtonian fluid. If you just kind of leave it there, it it it. It, it turns into a water, but if you apply pressure to it, it turns into a solid. That, that's, yes, I'm a, he I'm a jello. Doesn't know what he wants to be right now. So I'm a jello. <laughs> or, well, doesn't know what he wants to be ever. The gender, the gender fluid, basically. Yeah. So uh, um, I am a pansexual, and no, that does not include pants. Um, I mean, it'd be so, cool if it was pots and pans. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be, you know, rude. Pots and pans yeah. are pretty cool, you know. How about you, Trinda? Oh, um, I'm Trinda Lask. Uh, you can call me Trinda or Tundra or whatever anyone else decides to call me. But just look at the millions of people on freaking Twitch that do it. There's one lady on Twitch that's in the Discord with us who calls me. <laughs> but, what? Yeah, she she calls me. <laughs> Because she can't pronounce it, not one bit, and she doesn't want to call me Tundra. But, uh... But... (laughs) Um, yeah. I'm Trindalask. Um, I am a trans female. Uh, he, he, she, she, her. Uh, pronouns, of course, like normal. I am sexually attracted to women. So it makes me a lesbian. Kinda. Yeah, it does, but you get the point. But but I thought you were an American. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're an American, too. Pretty sure. <laughs> Don't give me that right. shit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Uh, we'll be talking about our stories today. Um, how we first found out what we are and who we are and what makes us as people and then coming out to some of these might be like just a trigger warning some of these might be pretty sad some of these might be funny it just depends on the person and some, they grew up. some of these will be something interesting like i don't know i mean and, and we'll uh, tell you guys how about how it is to live the way we are and the struggle sometimes and yeah pretty much i mean uh I think we should start talking about that now instead of, you know, going on and on and on about it. I mean... Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll start with the uh, first finding out, like, 
what you are and who you are, what makes you as that person, like when you first find out. All right. Do you want to start this? I mean, since I'm the one who decided we were going to do this whole podcast yeah. in the first place, I mean, we can. We can. Uh, just to let y'all know, my my voice is the trend Alaska voice. If you're just getting into this, uh, <laughs> but um, anyways, yeah, uh, I kind of first figured it out when I was probably about a little past, like somewhere between seven and ten, maybe, maybe earlier than seven. I don't know. It has to do with uh, the fairly odd parent. If, if any of y'all know who the very odd parents are, that, that's amazing. I, I'm assuming you do, because it, it's been on for like 50 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, that's just what it is when your headphones popped out by accident. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost been as long as freaking SpongeBob, to be honest. Uh, there. So there's an episode in one of the earlier seasons, before Poof, uh, before Sparky the dog, and before the female girl in the last season that existed. Um, let's see. Uh, he's trying to get, I guess, not Trixie, but the other girl, his his crush, a uh, present for her birthday. And so he asked Wanda and Cosmo to transform him into a girl to think girl thoughts. And I don't know, that just sparked my brain. I'm like, that would be cool. I wish, I, I would want to be a girl. And, and that and that's like the spark that lit in my head. And then as time goes on, that'll be the thing that keeps rolling in my head over and over again. Uh, I don't know, I've always looked up more to women than men, unless we're talking about Duke Nukem, who can impregnate any any person, even even men, with the sound of his voice, you know, and same with Morgan Freeman. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. <laughs> I don't forgot. It's been so long since I played Duke Nukem. I don't remember his voice. I, I'm gonna have to find a sample of that to play. Duke. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, and as it goes on, I start thinking more and more about it, uh, wanting to, uh, uh, middle, no, early high school, I remember that being in the, I can't remember if I was told this in high school or if I was told this in middle school, but I remember my friend, I could be completely remembering wrong, uh, she's a wonderful person, she's in, I, I talk about her in one of my other videos, her name is Nana. Uh, she told me not, she specifically told me not to wear girls clothes, uh, or at least I think she did. And then in ninth grade, I'm not for sure if I did it in ninth grade or before ninth grade, but that's when I started wearing them and I thought they felt really good. So I told her about it in the most awkward way as well. Like, oh, I did something you told me not to do. It's it's this and I, I the, yeah that was great and then and then um tenth grade year was horrific because I got sent away multiple times to uh wonderful wonderful uh breaking down and you know yeah fun times but uh did mm -hmm. have my friend. Uh, Vic, who is actually also in the Discord, a uh, wonderful person, uh, they really are, um, who actually helped me figure out, I think she, they were the first person who actually helped me figure out that I was actually trans, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, they gave me uh, the name uh, Annie Camille, and then more. I think either more or more swift. I, I can't remember at this point. It's all that 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 was years ago, like freaking four years ago, dude. I'm in college now. That was tenth grade. <laughs> oh uh, man. But uh, then eleventh grade and twelfth grade, and I kind of like I feel like I ruined my relationship with Vic. Uh, but obviously not because we're here. Uh, the, I love him. 
Um, and then more recently, I come to college and now I'm being more openly, you know, trans. Like, it's weird. I'm, I was always scared, but now I'm not as scared anymore. I'm not really. Uh, I wear the feminine clothes. I wear the makeup, and my parents are probably going to kill me if they hear this. <laughs> I, I can expect it. I can hear it already. But it, Heck em. It doesn't matter. Um, and, um, yeah, and then I decided that I was going to go by Max, which it doesn't matter what I'm wearing because Max is a gender-neutral name. If I, if I look like Max, and I'm speaking in this voice, and I... I, I'm Maxine. I'm Maxine. Max. If I'm like this and I look like a dude, which really only happens if I'm too act, if I'm too lazy to do anything and I have to go out, or or if I'm like, you know, at work, it's Maximilian. Max. You know, it, right. it makes sense. Uh, but that's it up to this point, really. Uh, yeah, that's 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 me, in a nutshell. Also, didn't explain in middle school. I had no idea if I was like gay or straight or bi or anything, you know. So that was something. <laughs> but anyways, let's move into your story because you know, yeah. All right. So, I think. I was in, oh man, uh, I, I really have bad memory of what age, of what happened, what age. I think I was in, uh, uh, kindergarten, no, maybe first grade, and I played, uh, Pokemon Crystal version, which was, I think, I think it was Crystal version? Was the first Pokemon game that asked you if you were a boy or a girl, if I remember right. And I usually like playing as a third game for Pokemon because, let's face it, it's better. Uh, when it asked me if it was a boy or a girl, and I just sat there like, huh, so I, that's a very deep question. So I'm like, I thought about it for a few, like a few minutes. I'm like, you know, I don't really feel like a boy sometimes but sometimes i do so i'll pick girl not only that is because it was the first time a game that you play as a girl so girl power woo -woo. anyways power uh, to the women that was the first time that i questioned myself about my like gender i was like hmm that's very interesting but anyway i i mean it sounds yeah. interesting i i always when I've always picked a girl, mainly in games, unless I'm role playing a dude. So, I I get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and also like, there's also like cartoons like, oh, there is this guy Bugs Bunny. Like he cross dressed a lot of the time, but nobody batted an eye. So I was like, huh, okay, that's weird. But then I thought about it, like, I. Man, this is gonna be getting really deep because I used to be a bad person, and uh, after middle school, I was like my freshman year, I started going through an asshole phase because. <laughs> oh man! Uh, uh, everyone I, went through an I asshole did, phase uh, at some point. I did a full three hundred and sixty turn because I bullied kids for their sexuality because I was uncomfortable with myself. I. Like, I feel bad for all this. Like, I even apologize to the people. Like, ah. my freshman year, this is guy. Like, he, I'm really good friends with him now, but this is guy. I'm not going to say his name. Like, he was, like, very flamboyant. And I was, like, I was, like, this pissed off kid with wearing all black. Don't talk to him. And I was really quiet. And I, like, we were supposed to grade each other's papers. And I gave him all. He, he got the whole thing right. But I said he got it all wrong and gave him an F, and he was like, what the heck, man? So, after that, uh, yeah, that was that bad. Um, Jeez. That, yeah, I was bad. And then it was like, they had like a, uh, 
uh, it's the same day. There was a L, uh, LGBT, one of the very first LGBT rally at my high school. And he was like talking about like huh. the gay community, like how they exist. This was like back in like 2009, 2010, be- before it gave rights became a thing. Like Washington is very, very, it's, it's I would say it's very progressive. It's not as progressive as Colorado. I mean, they have it's legal now. <laughs> Denver. Hey, we're Denver, Colorado. You wanna, uh, you wanna do some shrooms? Uh, so I, I live in Washington. Um, uh, we didn't have gay uh, legal marriage. I think it was like 2010, 2012. 2012, I don't think. My, yeah. oh, 2013, I think. I think it was 2012 in Washington. It was um, legal across the whole U.S. until 2018. So, uh, anyway, like, I refused to go to the assembly thing and everything. I was such a bad kid. Um, after a while, like, my stuff, I'm not going to give the details, like, how bad of a kid I was. I got in trouble with the police. That's bad. But I don't have a record, thank God, because I cleaned up my act. But, like, sophomore year, I was slowly getting out of, like, my shell and becoming a better person. Uh, my junior year, I started becoming more accepting and I went to this choir class because Spanish was too hard. It's too much you can't teach. But uh, I met this really, but it's my best, best friend in the whole wide world now. But I didn't know she was going to be like that. It was such a big person to be, uh, impact on my life. But like this new girl came to the class and like, I was like, man, this person, I feel like this person, so do you ever get a feeling like you look at a person like, I feel like this person is going to have a really big impact on my life? Yes. That was like, that's, that was the feeling I got with her. I was like, that, huh. that was me with uh, with I think, I, I don't I don't actually know. That was me with some of my high school teachers, to be honest, and middle school yeah. teachers. Not really like, other people. I mean, I guess maybe Vic, but Vic was Vic. Let's put it right. that way. And no offense to call them out, but middle school, just just. Just we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Middle school. And that's the same for all my friends that I know. We'll, we'll just chalk everything up to middle school. When you meet someone <laughs> at middle school, just everything goes downhill really quick because you have no idea what you want to do. <laughs> right. But, like, it's like, huh, this person is going to have like a big impact in my life. So, I didn't do anything but very much my junior year. Uh, and then, like, ran to these cool cool guys like they had a big impact on my life too and i thanked them a lot because what happened next like they told me like it was end of the year they, they were graduating and like hey so you wanted to be an actor right i'm like yeah kind of he's like go up go audition for this musical here i'm like okay sure he's like are you gonna show up he's like oh no i'm not gonna go but he is gonna show up I'm like oh sweet so i auditioned this musical, I have no idea what this musical was. I didn't watch very many musicals. The only musical I've watched was High School Musical. No, I have not watched that still. <gasps> you entire... haven't? No. <laughs> oh my god, that's like one of the best musicals. But Actually, like, the best so... musical ever written. Just to let you know, the best musical no. ever written. I will was... fight you on no, that. No, no, was Fiddler on the Roof. I will fight you on that still. <laughs> no, the fiddler, the fiddler is like the best. Rent, hands down. Whatever. But, but they told me to watch Rent as well, which that got me into the theater. Well, that was the first musical I saw, like on a stage. The uh, community college there put it on. So I auditioned for this musical. Man, <laughs> guess what musical it was? I had no idea. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Of course, it was. Yeah. What else? What else is where it gonna every, be? Where everyone's sexual awakening happens. <laughs> so, funny thing, uh, she auditioned there too, and so like became more friends there uh, later on, and they made me wear this really weird uh, assless uh, chaps, <laughs> not chaps, assless leotard. I'm like, you want me to wear what? Anyway, I'm gonna skip over a whole Rocky Horror Show. Uh, high, senior high school. Uh, well, the well, Rocky Horror Show actually taught me to be more feminine too, like how like ladies would act because I had to like cross dress. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, it's like you got to sit like a lady. I'm like, is that an actual thing? It's like, oh yeah, when you cross your legs. No, don't manspread. I'm like, oh okay. 
Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, senior year of high school, like I asked her out. And she's like, I'll think about it. A few days later, she's like, okay. Uh, after a while, she's like, she taught me a lot of stuff. She's like, well, be more accepting. It's like, okay. It's like telling me about the LGBT community and everything. And they're like, we should be a part of that. I'm like, okay. And she, apparently, like, her and I have like a built in, I don't. I don't know if you believe in this term, but we have a built-in gaydar. And yes, she, yes. She had the gaydar on me. Okay. And she's so, like, she. <laughs> oh, good. So like, I, I'm sitting in class, or no, like the first day I walk into the school, pretty much just complete, just not not school, but in the college, is just like complete, just gay, just. <laughs> There's no level of gay on your gaydar that can reach this point of gay unless you're in, like, a gay pride rally or in a gay <laughs> bar. Like, that is it. It's just gay. Or you're at a con. If you're at a con, everyone's gay. No one yeah. isn't not gay at a con. So come on now. <laughs> you're not going to be straight at a con, or at least not for very long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so she saw something in me that I didn't see. But she didn't know how to like point it out because she didn't actually know. But uh, point. after a while, You're like gay. she's like, she's like, she's like, I thought about it. I'm like, man, I think I might be bi. I'm like, okay, I'll accept that. After a while, I'm like thinking, like, hmm, I don't, like telling her about like how I feel. I'm like, you sometimes I don't feel like a guy. Sometimes I feel like a fat man. She's like, oh, ever heard of gender fluid? I'm like, yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> she's like, she told me about it and everything. And she's like, yeah, that actually fits a lot. So after a while, like, that came out as gender fluid in high school. And uh, we, we had a, uh, uh, there was this, like, whole debacle at this high school. And uh, <laughs> it, it was weird. So, like, I came out, and then one of the, vi that was a, how do you call it? Vice principal? Is it what it called? Yeah, it's a vice principal. Yeah. So he, him and I used to be buddy buddies. You know, we were buddy buddies until like I came out and he's like started actually being like discriminatory against me. And he's like, you got to be a man. Stop like acting like a girl and stop acting like a sissy. I'm like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I was like, no joke. The same thing. Like I like reported him. He didn't last like after he graduated. He didn't last for like another year. But uh. <laughs> Uh, a lot of teachers, some of the teachers are like, okay, you can't be doing that. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I can but do like, whatever I want. I think it was summer after high school. Uh, there, we put on my, uh, I think it was my whole county wide, the first uh, pride rally. And my f best friend and I thought, she was my best friend. I think her and I were still dating at that time. I don't remember. But uh, well, anyway, uh, we actually thought about man we should make a uh little thing to, uh, what's it called a fundraiser for a rocky a screening of the rocky horror picture show right after the drag show and so we signed up for the drag show we both did drag she was a drag king and i was a drag queen uh my uh, <laughs> my drag queen name was candy mountain Oh, oh, of candy course. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh my god. Please uh, kill hers, me. Hers was the best. Holden McRoch. The best drag name I've ever heard in my Holden life. Holden McCrotch. Holden McRoch. <laughs> but, uh, we did the song Crazy Thing uh, called Love by Queen. And, uh, anyway, uh, we did the pride rally and everything. Uh, we did like we for pride rally. We did pretty good. There was some haters out there, but I mean, there's always gonna them. be haters. Uh, like everyone this, hates. <laughs> yeah, the second pride rally the year after, we had like a bar right across the theater that we were doing the drag show, and they were like threatening us. So like the police were called on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I think after that like a year or two later i thought I'm like hmm, i think i'll be pansexual so that makes sense like, cool, okay i'll accept that is it yeah well, that works it, <laughs> her and i became best friends she moved to california and i moved across the state we still talk like every day though so 
And I live yeah. in the other side of the country. <laughs> yeah. It do be like that sometimes. But yeah, that's my story. In a nutshell. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything in this this cookie feeling here. Oh yeah, uh I'm podcasting living just a giant gender cookie. fluid like being gender fluid in the modern day like it's not as bad as it was 10 years ago like but like i i don't know i feel like i don't dress accordingly to my gender i just like i sit there in my bed like hmm, i'm feeling weird hmm, i gotta figure out what this is and after a while sometimes it takes me days sometimes it takes me weeks to find out like what gender am i i mean but it's very irritating. Like sometimes I get so irritated and so mad and depressed. I'm like, what the hell am I? And I sometimes think- I think, oh, I think it to myself, I'm like, hmm, could I be trans? I don't know. Like I'm still thinking. I'm like, I don't know if I'm still gender fluid or not. I just keep thinking. It's just awful. Well, I am like, I, I. Sometimes don't dress right. I think I announced that earlier that I just don't dress how I want because either mm-hmm. A, I'm too lazy, or B, I got nothing to do, so I'm just not going to dress up. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> um, but you know, you got stuff, you know, but whenever I'm feeling extraordinarily punk rock, you oh, know, yeah, I really don't dress up in anything i just sort of style my hair in a certain way and then put on the most punk grunge freaking garage music uh, clothing i can and then play the most punk music i can find and probably piss off all four of my what, neighbors what kind of punk is this is very important what pop punk rock punk metal punk okay punk. so probably punk rock um, garage rock. Hmm, I never heard of that one. Uh, let's see. Punk rock, garage rock. Uh, I don't know if the early 2000s is called, I think it's garage rock revival. Uh, it's, it's, um, I think early 2000s pop punk though. It was, but there was also garage rock revival in the White Stripes, the Arctic Monkeys, mm. you know, the Black Keys. Yeah, that's my <laughs> kind of style right there. And then, you know, I listen to the gorillas. I like pretty much oh, every yeah. album by the gorillas. Like, come on now. How can you not Nobody like, can hate them. How can you not like at least one song off of every album of the gorillas? I accept, except for The Fall. No one likes The Fall. And I forgot that it was an album for a moment. No <laughs> one likes The Fall. If you like The I've Fall. I've never listened to that one yet. If you, if you like The Fall. I, I don't know. You just, just, <laughs> just comment. Just, just comment down below. Just go. You're the one of the few people who like it. Congrats. <laughs> my roommate walks in and he agrees that the fall is ass. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, just, just, just slam your keyboard down at the bottom, and if you like the fall, you know whatever let me let us know i guess <laughs> but yeah so wait where were we before we went off on a tangent oh like talk about like how does like to live like how you are in the modern day oh it's it's kind of fine it's kind of creepy at the same time though yeah you don't know if you can, especially if you're trans you don't know how you pass and you're constantly or at least for me, I'm constantly worried about how my voice sounds. It sounds feminine. I'm constantly worried about how I look, if I have any stubble, etc., 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 etc. And but, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I'm worried about usually. Yeah. Um, I don't really, I don't know. Like, I don't really tell people like what I am. Like, I don't know. I, I sometimes I get this weird feeling. I I live in a very accepting state, but like, there's always those few people. Like I've when I first moved to this town like two years ago. Like oh yeah, like, my coworkers are like oh yeah, there's like th- like a KKK group here, but there's like three members. I was like mm-hmm. I just had like hard oh, like a, almost like a mild heart attack. It's like say what, mate? <laughs> don't worry. 
In my hometown, there's a KKK group. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I haven't seen any of the KK members. KKK. The, the KKK members. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, one of them goes to the uh, IGA where my friend Jake Render, who finds dads, works. <laughs> uh, he. It's it's uh, apparently that's where one goes to shop because you know if you go if you're in the KKK you're probably poor, no offense. Yeah. But you're probably really really poor. Um, you also should if you're part of the KKK you shouldn't be listening to this podcast. So. True. <laughs> if you're part of the KKK you're probably not listening to this podcast. And also, okay. <laughs> and also you're turning the frickin' frogs gay. <laughs> Apparently the windmills are doing that too. Oh man, yeah. Vaccines as well, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is why we can't donate our blood anymore. You got you gotta you gotta rub a potato on that, you know, thing to this get the way, vaccine this to go away. Gay, this is why <laughs> gay people can't donate our blood, we'll turn other people gay. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Is there a big commu- uh, LGBTQ plus uh, community where you're at? Uh, well, there is the, in my school, there's the Colors Club, which is part of it. I guess, I think there's also, I think, I'd have to check, but I think there is a rally here where I'm at, but I'm not for sure. I I, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> How much yeah, do I know? <laughs> I play video like games. I, like I live by a giant university, but like one of the big universities in Washington. But like I don't go to that university. I'm going to like a beauty school, <laughs> so I don't know. Like I'm sure they have like an LGBT community because uh, they I, have they had a pride show last year. I so mean, I go to an art school, so I mean like ninety yeah. percent of the people I mean, are gay. Ninety percent. So, like, yeah, I was gonna say like most art. Gay kids are artistic anyway, so. I mean, what else? It's it's one of the perks of being gay. (laughs) Oh, man. You make zero sense. (laughs) Uh, Okay. So, what else is on our hit list? Ah. Hmm. I think we got our cookie feeling done. Did we get our. For our introductions. For introductions? Ah. Yeah. Well, Another story. So, it's time to close up this cookie and take a big bite. Oh god, so, that just sounds when, gross. When are you posting these every week? I'm planning on getting them up either. I, I'm planning on getting a, this one up Monday. I might get it up tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, it just depends on how I feel and what I depend on doing tonight. I could just I, I, technically I could just take this and throw it into YouTube right now and tell YouTube to upload it tomorrow at like I don't know freaking 10 a.m. and just be done with it or have it uploaded. But I'm kind of lazy and you know yeah yeah I feel you. So yeah I don't know that's that's how I feel I I think so. Are you, will you be uploading these to the podcast sections and the uh, iPhone and the uh, the other people, the droid users, is that what they call themselves? Android, uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know how to do that, first off, and okay. second off, I'm super well, lucky. figure it out. <laughs> um, I know I'm going to be putting them on YouTube, I may or may not end up putting them on SoundCloud, I don't know if anyone uses SoundCloud, but I might put them on SoundCloud, <laughs> um, we can get tech support on this. <laughs> Make but, a tech support group. Just, just tech support help, <laughs> please. Uh, I don't think they can tech support my life right now. Dude, so. <laughs> I can tech support my own life right now. <laughs> uh, oh, and how we were talking about music earlier. I was in a band once, and I almost got kicked off the stage. Oof. For cursing on stage. Oh no. But yeah. that's what bands do. What the, do you expect? The mayor's sons, the mayor's children were there. <laughs> Man, fuck the mayor's son. 
<laughs> uh, I, I should have got kicked off the stage, but we thought we were going to go back. Um, but... Yeah, it's going to get uploaded sometime this week, and then we might continue to upload them the same day. If we don't upload them that day, the same day that I upload these, which is either going to be tomorrow, which is probably what I'm going to do, or Monday, because I want to get this first one out as quickly as possible, and then they'll probably all rest come out on Monday at maybe about, I'm not going to set an actual time. I'm going to say I'm going to try to get them out about 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock every Monday, but knowing me, it's going to be more like 9 p.m. Monday. <laughs> oh, will there be guests starring on our show? Oh, oh yes, there will be. Uh, we will have multiple guests. Um, I am positive that we are going to have a guest. Uh, we are going to have at least two. Uh, one of our guests is going to be I'm pretty sure one of our guests is going to be someone called Triforce. She streams. Um since I brought her up, I'll link her Twitch down in the description down there. Uh or wherever it is. I'm gonna say it's below the video. Um and then I think we might have a Nana on the stream, the girl, the the girl I keep talking about, um, mm -hmm. she's the famous, the one and only Nana. Nana. <laughs> Nana. Is it like the is she like the Nana from the Batman theme or Nana? Uh, just Nana. She's just Nana. She's not Danana. Oh. She's just Nana. I mean, she could be Danana. <laughs> Danana. Nana 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 Batman. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> okay, we might have more structure in the next episode. We'll probably, I'll probably be doing, uh, writing down some actual questions instead of you know doing what I do the best, winging it. I mean, but uh, <laughs> we're pretty really good at winging it. We kind of just went on yeah. about it. Um, it's um, we we kind of plan on this just being. LGBTQ stuff. Uh, there might be some video game stuff in here a little bit. Uh, music stuff, like we were just talking about, like the type of music I like. Um, I since you know and other stuff like that. But th thus far, you know, it's just whatever. It's mainly for everyone else who is watching this. You know, uh, just to get to know us, to have fun, to sit down and listen. I mean. Really, anything you feel like. <laughs> it's not horrendous or anything. No, oh, yes. So, let's wrap this up. So, where can these magnificent people find you at? Okay. So, um, my, so, you're here on my YouTube channel, most likely. So, you oh, got yes. my, you got my YouTube. Um, down in the description will be my Twitch account. I, uh, yeah, all I got is a Twitch, and also will be the Discord that we use, so if you feel like you want to describe your story to us or anything, um, we have a Twitch for you to just join in, um, you will not have, you'll be subject to whatever the mods decide, of course, uh, if you do anything wrong, but... <laughs> Come on. No one's going to do anything wrong in the Discord. Um, oh, yes. But, yeah, we got the Discord down there. Uh, we got DeSoto. Uh, we also got a, another host who is Chile. Uh, she is the one who basically decided that we were going to stream today. <laughs> or not stream, but record this today. Uh, Soto is the one with all the questions, and I am the one who decided that we were going to start the podcast and who mainly runs, or started, the Discord server. And I will be posting these up on my YouTube channel. So It is a godless wasteland right now. <laughs> so basically, all three of us kind of run this together as a group. Even though Chili wasn't in here, uh, Chili will be in here at least for one episode eventually. So, 
So look forward to that, people. Yeah. So is that it? Yeah, I think so. Don't right. forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button if you liked it. That way you can get more notifications about anything stupid I do or if another podcast Woo-hoo! comes up, which should be up next week, I think. We'll do. We'll have one up by next week. I promise. <laughs> All right. And until then, we will see y'all people later. Later, lovelies.